one X player. Specifically, the uh, the one with the Ryzen 7 6800U. One X player two, I believe. It's got Windows 11. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's got a 512 gig NVMe. Wait a second. What am I doing? This is way too nice to be on my channel. I, I can't, no, I can't cover anything like this. Screw this thing. No, bring me, bring me back. This is, this is all the portable gaming I need right here. We, no, yeah, we, portable gaming PC, no. Th this, literally the pinnacle of gaming. But, it's not healthy to overindulge. So despite having the console of the gods, we'll have to put it aside for now and take a look at something a little more pedestrian. So, One X Player's marketing department is fucking crazy, because they sent me this thing. It's a loner, I don't get to keep it, but apparently I'm gonna be enjoying my time anywhere and anytime. But I accepted this device to take a look at, because I have a burning question on my mind. Can the king oh. be dethroned? That's what we're gonna find out. I haven't gotten a look at this thing until now. Oh, that's a heavy boy. Holy shit. Hold on, I'm gonna grab something to compare this to. So here's this, and here's a Nintendo Switch. Holy crap, dude. This thing is enormous. Yeah, I wonder what they based their design off of. <laughs> you can see the rails and everything. It's all like very, very similar. Okay, so then if this is the console, then I imagine these are the Joy-Cons. This is like leather cardboard. I mean, that's a stupid thing to say, but like, look at this. It has the texture of leather for some reason. The fine dining of gaming PCs. <laughs> I'm the manual. I'm the Manuel. This is the back of my brevity. Hey Google, define brevity. Go f yourself. Windows OS, install the games you like. <laughs> Who do they think I am? We'll at least boot it up and see what Windows has to offer on this thing, because I'm sure they've got like a customized install. However, the main reason that I wanted to take a look at this thing is to do what I do best and install a little Steam OS. I want to see if this thing can outdo the Steam Deck with the Steam Deck's own operating system. And we're going to find out. But right now we got to find out where the controllers are. Dude, the leather box is so funny to me. Well, here's these. I wonder if these are like Joy-Cons where you can use them detached. I don't think so, because they're pretty light. There's not much to these. They're like as heavy as regular Joy-Cons, but way bigger. <laughs> you, the Joy-Con she tells you not to worry about. Yeah, these are big boys. The joystick looks like it's just a hair bigger than the Joy-Con joystick. Just a little bit. It feels better though. It feels a lot better than the Joy-Con. The throw is longer, it feels like. Yeah, I definitely like this better. Hardcore games. All right, well, let's get this guy all hooked up. God, dude, this is a chonky boy. Wow, big boy. It feels good. I like bigger controllers, so I like this. It's got a built-in kickstand like the Switch, which is nice. Can I do one of those? It's got a full-size USB port here. That's nice to see. Actually going to be very useful. We got X1, X2, and Turbo. And we're once again reminded of the hardcore gamers. Can't live with them, can't live without them. All right, well, let's turn it on. Perhaps. There's a blue light. Oh, there we go. All right, Windows 11, here we come. No, stop, please. Please, spare me. Okay, well, we'll just get this set up. Oh, you know what? There's another Type-C on this thing. That's really nice to see. I wish the Steam Deck had two Type-Cs on it. Let's name your device. Steam Deck 2. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, fine. Steam Deck 2. You guys want to see a fun trick? So, I definitely do not want to sign into my Microsoft account. And they used to give you some options here to not need one. You could just say, make an offline account and go from there. But they don't let you do that anymore. Because I don't know if you noticed, but you're the product now. And they need your sweet, sweet data. But we can just do this. We can use my favorite account, no at thankyou.com. Hit enter, type literally anything, and then it errors out. And then bam, offline account. Thank me later, gamer. Okay. It's just like that. So what, if we do this? No. Just Windows 11 things, I guess. Oh, that's real nice. There we go. Alright, so I imagine this is their app of some kind. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot of anything. Oh, alright. So there's a whole lot going on here. So we got battery percentage, CPU wattage, I'm guessing. Can you just, like, overclock this thing and, like, just on the fly, just with this right here? Fan speed, 30%. We just, like, max fan. Go. Go. Maximum fan, go. Fan, go. Okay, well, maybe you can't change that. Well, I'm sure there's lots of cool, interesting features you can do in there. Uh, I'm gonna go get Steam. Where'd the keyboard at, though? 
Uh, am I else stupid? Yes. Is there like a keyboard button? Yes. No? It was in the manual. Dumbass. Actually, doesn't Windows 11 have like a tablet mode or something? The keyboard worked fine in the setup. On-screen keyboard. Oh my god, it's this one. Not the keyboard I wanted, but it's the keyboard we're getting. Steam. Go. Steam. Oh my god, where's the installer? For the love of god. Sure. Apex Legends. Play game. I need Steam. There we go. Flawless win. Okay, to help the rest of this go as smoothly as possible, we're gonna get this guy on the ethernet here. Alright, Steam. Next. Let's go. Install. It doesn't appear to have too much bloatware, which is nice. I mean, minus the Microsoft bloatware. Well, you don't want TikTok on your freshly installed OS, huh? You don't want TikTok, huh? You don't want WhatsApp? What's wrong with you, dude? You don't want ESPN? Well, you're, you're a fucking idiot. All right, I'm gonna get some games installed here, and then we will come back to this thing. It appears for some reason that one X player has decided to split the SSD up into two different partitions here. Uh, kind of weird that they did that, but that's a thing. Okay, ten decades later, games are done downloading. Let's check them out. Something tells me this is not the uh, optimal resolution. You can set the resolution to 2560 by 1600. Actually, what is the resolution on this thing? Oh, wow. I knew the screen looked pretty sharp, but that's kind of nuts. I'm not sure if I should run games at this resolution or at 720p like the Steam Deck to give it like an apt comparison. I'm really not sure. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Man, this screen is a fingerprint magnet, though. Okay, let's turn on the Xbox, uh, what's it called? Xbox on. Happy Easter, Xbox. Launch a new game to get FPS info. Very helpful. The scale on this screen is crazy. All I want to do is change this slider. That's all I want to do. And it's too small. God, this sucks. Oh my god, Windows needs to fix its scaling so bad. Yes, I've done it. All right, beautiful. We've got an FPS counter. What is the refresh rate of this screen? Okay, it's just 60 hertz. Okay, we're going with the medium preset. Oh, that's how you bring up the keyboard. I thought this was a volume button, but no. Brings up the keyboard. Oh, okay. Oh, and that brings up the desktop. Okay. Yeah, you know, may maybe I should read the manual. <laughs> oh my god, that's loud. <laughs> that scared me. Why can I... Bruh. It actually might help to turn off the lights. Alright, so Black Mesa's running pretty good here. In full resolution. Like 40 to 50 FPS. It's okay. I think that the screen resolution on this thing is just a mistake. I don't think this should be this high. Really, like, 1080p at best should be fine. With the resolution reduced to 1080p, there's not even a difference in sharpness on this thing. Do get a good little FPS boost as well. Yeah, I don't I don't know why you would play anything at full resolution on this thing. But yeah, we're getting, like, 60 to 70 FPS now. Okay, cool. So that one's pretty decent. Doom's looking pretty sharp, I will say. So we're back, medium preset, 1080p, just like Black Mesa. And we're getting like 60 FPS again, 60 to 70. This is quite enjoyable. I crouched and I don't know how to uncrouch. Oh. Well, that's what you get, I guess. Okay, that's Doom. Oh my god. Rocket League has copyrighted music. I gotta cover it. There's no menu. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Something is very wrong here. My nifty desktop button doesn't work anymore. All right, screw this. I'm plugging in a keyboard and mouse. God, Windows on touchscreen interfaces. It's just so bad. Bruh, I can't use my keyboard. All right, I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna hold down the power button. What the heck? Rocket League is just utterly broken. I think it's got something to do with the resolution that it's trying to run at. We're gonna set these launch options and see if it fixes it. Okay, we're closer. Okay, this should work. Oh. Nope. There's still no menu. What? What the heck? I don't think this is a, a problem with this device, but I... Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! Changing the date and time fixed it. Yo, Honda Civic Type R wheels? All right, we're going with the quality preset, 1080p. Dude, this desktop button really just craps out sometimes. It was just working. There we go. What the heck? All right, well, Rocket League's playing great. Appears to be locked at 60 FPS. 
Yeah, that game looks great. None of these games need to be running at 1600p or whatever the heck the max resolution is. This is- this is just fine. Ooh. That is not fine. I was also gonna test GTA 5, but this thing is like 100 gigabytes and I don't really have the time to download it. So, we're gonna call that good for our Windows exhibition. It's time for the question on everybody's mind. Maybe not everybody, but it's on my mind, I'll tell you that. How is this thing with Steam OS? We got our keyboard plugged in. I'll just hit it from behind with this guy. And I believe the BIOS key is the turbo button. I never even pressed the turbo button. I should have pressed the turbo button. I don't know what the turbo button does. Oh, that is cursed. And since I have Stockholm Syndrome, we're gonna go back to Holo ISO even though it's never really worked that well for me. However, my thinking this time is that this is not an absolute pile of shit, unlike everything else I've tried this on. And this is like all AMD, just like the Steam Deck. So, probably fine. Holy crap, that was quick. I'm not used to these computers that I uh, mess with being actually fast. Oh my god, it's made for ants again. Oh, changes will come into effect after restart. We can't change the scale. Okay, I'm just gonna change the resolution then. This is just the installer anyway, so it's fine. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Huh. Yeah, didn't like that one. Hello? Are you coming back? Please? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's five by eight. That's why the resolution's so wacky. Five by eight, very weird. I'm editing right now, and I just now realized that 5 by 8 is just 16 by 10, but reduced, because it's a fraction. Yeah. Anyway. I can't see anything. I believe this says install SteamOS on this machine. Oh, so now the scale's kind of fine, sort of? I don't know. Gonna wipe this guy right here. See ya. Bye. Yo, pseudo crashed. If we don't have pseudo, what do we have? Gaming. Gaming. Gamer. Uh, guess what it's gonna be? Gaming. Gaming for the fourth time. All data on drive will be lost. That's what I'd like to hear. Alright, set her up, Bambino, let's go. Oh hell nah, the zoom ring on the camera is adjusting the focus. Alright, well this guy's gonna take some time doing this, so... Through the power of editing, it's finished! All right, so we've got ourselves a Steam Deck now. This whole process is so much less painful when uh, you're not installing it on absolutely hot garbage. We just installed it, set it up, and nothing catastrophic happened. It just goes from a 1X player to a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, Steam Deck. Isn't it crazy how stuff just kind of works nowadays? I know Linux is better with this than Windows as well, but like, the fact that I can just like tap it and it just works. Like, it, this Steam OS just has the driver for this touchscreen. Like, it just knows how to use it. It's just kind of nuts. We are truly living in the future when I don't have to connect a mouse and keyboard to something and then go get the driver manually. Welcome to Steam Deck. This is the Steam button. Oh, this? This right here? This is the Steam button? This is the quick access button. Right here, right? Yep, that's the one. Maybe this guy. Nope. Okay. We don't have it. That's not true, but okay. Have fun. Okay. So we're in. I mean, right off the bat, it just kind of works. So we're gonna install the same set of games here. So we'll get Rocket League. Oh, you know what? There's probably quite a few system updates that have to get done. Okay. I'm gonna get all the games installed and get this thing updated, and then we'll come back to it. And right when I said that everything just works. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, but it's been on the screen for like 20 minutes. So we're gonna drop to the terminal here, and I'm gonna try this fix that somebody on GitHub said to do. Always foolproof advice. Oh, well we got to the desktop. Okay, well this isn't exactly the fix I was hoping for. Let's see if we can go back to the regular interface. Okay, well that didn't work. However, somebody else was also saying that if you plug in a monitor, it forces some kind of update, and then things just magically work. So we'll see how magical it is for me. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, look at that, it just works now. That is wacky. Well, I don't know why that happens, but we're back. All right, so now let's get some baseline numbers to see how these games run on an actual Steam Deck on SteamOS so we have something to compare it to. Navigating, like, 
computer desktop interfaces, like with most games, is just, it's so much easier when you've got this touchpad, when you don't have to constantly be switching between controls and touching the screen and trying to like mouse navigate with a freaking joystick. These touchpads are just, just so integral to the experience. That's what a lot of other portable gaming PCs are lacking and I just can't, I, I can't not have these. It just makes it so much better. So we're getting pretty similar performance here to what the One X player was getting in Windows. Now granted, this is 720p, and I don't really want to compare this kind of gameplay to the Windows experience on the One X player too much, because that's not really the point of what we're doing here. I just wanted to see the Windows performance initially just to compare the One X player against itself in SteamOS and then in Windows. Until we see how the One X player runs with SteamOS on it, uh, we can't really make any comparisons. But this seems pretty decent. Uh, every once in a while there'll be a little bit of a slowdown, but it's like 60 FPS almost the whole time. Medium settings, just like last time. Doom is doing pretty damn good. Alright, yeah, this is fantastic. 60 FPS the entire time, pretty much. Ah, I love that. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well, doesn't matter which device I'm playing on, doesn't fix the fact that I suck. But we're getting 60 FPS, it's a grand old time. I don't know how that was my goal, but okay. All right, it's gonna be hard to beat when everything runs good. I need to test a game that the Steam Deck just can't handle. I don't really think I own one though. I mean, I guess I could just jack the settings way up. Yeah, let's go back to Doom. Okay, so we're gonna change this to have 8X TSSAA anti-aliasing, and we're gonna set overall quality to ultra. Oh, wow. I think this thing can just handle it. Okay, well... This is awkward, because the Steam Deck is just handling it fine. Ultra quality. Maximum anti-aliasing. I didn't realize that this game wasn't really that hard to run. And I mean, I've got Doom Eternal to test as well, but I haven't played it yet. And I don't want to spoil it for myself, <laughs> so I don't, want, I don't want to run it. Okay, well, yeah, that's not gonna work. Alright, I have another idea. If PC games won't challenge this thing, console games might. I have not played this in years. Let's go, dude. Okay, there we go. So this is actually pushing this thing. It's definitely not running at full speed. It's not bad, but it's it's not quite there. We're hovering around like 30 to 45 FPS. It should be 60. If it was full speed, it'd be at 60. Um, and there's probably something we can do to make this run better on here. But due to the nature of what we're trying to do here, I'm gonna leave it exactly like it is. I'm gonna leave the configuration the same on both of these. I haven't changed any settings at all. God, this game is... This game is something, dude. I got really into this game a while ago, like years and years ago. It's not really that bad, honestly. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe it's bad. <laughs> I enjoy it. Not when it's running like this, though. Okay, I'm glad we actually have something to compare this to now. So let's grab the 1X player. No, I don't want to play the tutorial. No! Oh, the overlay's in the middle of the screen, and it's real small. This thing is loud. This thing is popping off. Yeah, this is a hell of a lot louder than the Steam Deck. And the Steam Deck's already not that quiet. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see because this screen's resolution is so high. Uh, but we are getting 60 FPS. It's certainly performing better than the Steam Deck. The CPU built into this thing is, is quite decent. All right, well, yeah, this thing for sure... Oh, man, the menu's not having a good time. But it, it for sure performs better than the Steam Deck. Whoa. Sensitivity's very high. Oh, my God. I'm fairly certain that this is running at 720p, because that's what the... When you're in game scope, I think it limits everything to 720p with FSR. Yes. Okay, we're 800. Close enough. And you can sort of tell from, like, a normal distance away... You can definitely see it, especially on that uh, wet floor sign right there. That's for sure kind of messed up. Yeah, if you could run this at 1080p, it would look a lot better. Uh, if you were on desktop mode, it would work. But anyway, this seems like it runs all right. About 60 FPS the whole time. Something I don't like as much on here is that the sticks are just noticeably smaller. They're obviously physically smaller, but it's just something you notice. This feels a lot more like Joy-Cons, and the Steam Deck feels a lot more like an Xbox controller. I don't know why they wouldn't have gone with bigger joysticks on this thing. I mean, it's got the real estate. It just seems like a very weird decision to me. These games don't push the Steam Deck, and they don't push this thing either. 
I know there's games out there that do, I just, I don't really have any on hand. If there's any games you want me to take a look at next time I do something like this, that really push the Steam Deck and might even push hardware like this, let me know if it's like fairly cheap or something on Steam. I can get a hold of it for next time. Actually, uh, FPS is kind of going down a bit here. Okay, so that was with anti-aliasing set to 8TX. Oh, okay, that was in OpenGL. That might be why the performance wasn't quite as good. Okay, yeah, Vulcan with the lower anti-aliasing settings, it's just locked 60. I'm gonna put the anti-aliasing back up, and then turn the quality back up, and then leave it on Vulcan. That's how I had it set up on the Steam Deck right before I'd wanted to go and try RPCS3. The performance is, is definitely better here. OpenGL was just causing a little bit of a dip before. But yeah, no, it's great now. Yep, this thing is absolutely ballin'. Get it? Because there's a ball. Ball just went in the goal. 60 FPS, nothing bad to say here. You know, it's almost kind of boring when the hardware works this good. I like to keep my hardware uh, around the $7.99 price point, personally. What the heck is the MSRP of this thing, actually? Hold on. Holy crap, okay. So this thing is $1,150. Would I pay that for this? Uh. No. And the reason I say that is because I have this, which is like 90% of the performance, probably not. This is way more powerful to be honest with you guys. But for what you actually experience, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Again though, I also didn't test the most demanding games in the world. Like if you want to specifically play PlayStation All-Stars, this is better, you know, for PS3 games, Xenia, emulation in general, this thing's probably going to do a little bit better on. Switch is probably a little bit better. But the, the price is just a, it's just a big ask. This boy ain't cheap. It's good hardware, don't get me wrong. The build quality is nice too. I like this thing a lot. You get two USB type C ports, get a kickstand, you get controllers that disconnect for some reason. Still not really sure why they decided to do this other than to just look like a switch, but it's a cool device. The lack of touch pads, I'm not a big fan of. I really, really like those uh, track pads that are on the Steam Deck. And to answer the question, does SteamOS improve this thing? It's a little bit buggy. There's some stuff to work out, like how you have to plug in a monitor for no apparent reason to get past the validation screen. That's kind of weird. But I bet you, I haven't even looked it up, but I bet you there's already people out there with this thing that have put SteamOS on it that have already started working out these kinks. I'm not going to bother because I'm not really spending that much time with it, but this thing with Windows was not really a fan, and that's not this thing's problem, that's Windows' problem. I've heard they're working on something to fix that, but for now, Windows honestly should stay on devices with a keyboard and a mouse. And with this too, with SteamOS, you also get to configure all of the uh, cool controller remapping stuff that they have built into here, where you can you, know, you can have your joysticks like emulate a mouse and all this, and all this super crazy stuff. This is honestly one of the best parts of SteamOS right here, is this super crazy customization that you can do. I think this thing uh, benefits quite a bit from SteamOS. I'm really glad that this is fairly portable enough at this point to just kind of install on whatever. I mean, as long as your CPU supports it, I guess. But yeah, the fact that it's all AMD probably makes this work even better. It's cool. I like it. If I didn't have a Steam Deck though and I had to pick, I'm still I'm still picking the Steam Deck. For me, it comes down to like the trackpads alone. They're just so useful. Like when I've got this thing docked, I use a PS5 controller because it has a trackpad and I can use my mouse and it's super useful for PC games. And when I actually want to sit down and play something and not mess with stuff, it's nice to know that I've got the console that's just got the first party support ready to go. Check out the Discord, there's gonna be a link in the description. We talk about all kinds of crazy stuff, Steam Deck related stuff, console mods, hardware mods, uh, cat pictures, it's all there. My Patreon is in the description if you want to help make more stuff like this happen. And let me know in the comments which one of these you guys would pick. Either taking the price into account or not, I don't know, just let me know, I'm curious. But that's gonna be it, I'll see you guys in the next one.